Facing the Flats with host Henry Wanschuk and Billy Clyde is brought to you in part by Live Target, Lifelike Lures, Mud Hole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. Oh Hero, conquering the fishing world. And Tires Plus, your total car care center. Welcome to another great episode of Fishing the Flats. I'm your host, Henry Waschuk. Hey, we've got two great adventures this week, and we start off, first off, right in Belize. Man, fishing for those bonefish, it's awesome. And we always have a great fishing adventure from Florida, this time from the east side, man, oh man. And then our resort feature is the Crown Plaza, if you ever want to stay there. And most importantly, our fish recipe, hey, it's Hank's Crispy Fry with fish balls. Stay tuned, man, oh man, it's gonna be another great episode. He's running that school and that cuda's right on top of them. <clears throat> Probably went and got the rod. You can see that big wake. Thinking about it. There we okay. go. There we go. There he goes. Okay, getting the line back. Well, it's amazing. That barracuda chased it up right up on that flat away from the bonefish. And you see those fish rippling away. Wonder if that cuda's now left this guy alone. <laughs> All right. Still fighting, still fighting. No wonder they run so hard away from those darn barracuda. And this is another thick fish. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Big bone right there. Let's grab the fly. Sure. Corey, thank you very much for making my flies, man. They are hot. I'm gonna put them in the water. Oh yeah, beautiful. A little bit of striping in that back, but you know, you drop it down, you can see oh, how they Dakota? disappear in that turtle grass. There you go, buddy. Thanks for the fight. Coming up, more Belizean bones. All right, there you go. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Tires Plus, your total car care center. If you're looking for great fishing and an incredible island resort, then Belize is for you. Just two hours from Miami, you can begin Belize fishing from the beautiful clear water flats on the second largest barrier reef in the world. Our host lodge is none other than Turnip Island Resort. From the amazing diving opportunities to the fantastic bone fishing, this Central American destination will make your adventure a memorable one. I got bonefish just tailing right here in front of me into the surf. And it's a mix of fish, anything from one and a half pounds probably to seven pounders in there. So I don't know which one's gonna take, but I'm just gonna flip this bait out. Come on. All right, there you go. Whoa, baby. Look at that. Running with the school now. Wow. You can just see they all moved off there. I'm going to keep my rod up high because all this is really sharp coral. Man, you can see how long did that take? Big thing is try to high stick. Just loosen that drag a bit. Those other fish have moved off. So what I'm doing is trying to keep the line way above the coral so that fish can be clear and I can get in this grass. You can see the school is right there, all that nervous water. That's all fish. And I gotta try to get mine out of there. It's in this turtle grass now. Beautiful. 
Look at this guy. Man, oh man. Hi, buddy. <laughs> what a beautiful bone. Look at that. And he's chunky. And there's some bigger ones in there than that, but man, oh man. Just, it only took seconds. Can you imagine just coming out here on this reef with all these bonefish? All right. It just pops out. Gorgeous bonefish. Well, Mr. Bonefish, thank you so much. Look how beautiful that fish looks right there. Oh my, you're gonna disappear. Let's take it easy. Look at that. Hank's Tip of the Week is brought to you by Mudhole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. You know, when you're fishing for bonefish, it's really important you have the right gear, because I tell you what, they're smaller fish, but <laughs> they fight pretty hard. I like to use a medium action rod. The Gold Series Bio Hero is awesome, but people always ask me about braid. I says, you don't even have to go real heavy. Like, if you want to make long casts, especially to bonefish, you know, 15 pound and even 10 pound braid is perfect, and I'm using the Blue O'Hero. It's an advanced braid, which is great. And fluorocarbon, the same thing. When you're using your leader, if you're around mangroves, you better go to like a 20 pound test. That's really important. But if you're out in the open, you can get away with 10 pound, especially as long as those bonefish aren't really huge. But I gotta tell you about a new shrimp. I'm telling you what, does that look real or what? That is the new live target shrimp. We got two different sizes that are amazing. And I'm telling you what, they're so lifelike. And the drop, I tell you, when they go through the grass and so on, it looks so real. You make that long cast and just slide it through and it comes through. Those fish really love it. They come in a variety of colors. I mean, you know, from bright orange, depending on the colors of the water, to glow. But I tell you what, if you don't have one of these in your tackle box, I tell you what, you're missing out. I'm gonna see these bonefish again. And like I said, the key to it is to be up. You can't cross cast. See where the fish are now? Right in front of me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wave till a wave goes. I'm gonna try to go right with the wave. All right, I think I got... All right, there you go. All right. Oh, yeah. Boy, I took a little bit of time there. Come on, stick up high. Oh yeah, get off that rock. Fighting good. Nothing like bone fishing, I don't care. I mean, you work in the flats. Look at him going up in the surf. Where are you going? That's what he's doing, he's surfing. Come on, beautiful. I've got the drag pretty tight, I just loosened it up a bit. Hey, look at you, Mr. Bone. But the same size as the other one. Come on, come on over here, away from your school. A beautiful breeze here in the great country of Belize. Still fighting. All right. Gotcha. Oh. All right, let me get a grab. And there you go. Another hard fighting bone out of Turnip Resort. All right, get the hook out. Oh. Nice. All right, buddy. Boy, that didn't take long. Gone. Coming up, Florida's East Coast Crown Plaza. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Empower Technologies. Throw away your jumper cables forever. Gag grouper are found in the Western Atlantic from North Carolina to the Lower Keys and all the way back around the west side of Florida reaching the Panhandle. This week we run to a few shallow reefs between 30 and 40 feet of water to try our luck with this hard fighting fish in the grouper family. They love to make rocky bottoms, man-made reefs and ledges their home. Once you locate them, tease them with a lot of chum and you'll have some angling fun just like this. Starting to mark some stuff. Can throw some chum. Oh, we're on. All right, way to go. Hooked up. Good job. 
I feel like we got a big grouper or something. Oh, that'd be good. I'll just reel mine in. Nice. First good fish start. of the morning. Yep. Always a good feeling. <laughs> They're gonna get bigger as the day progresses, I'm telling you. What we got? Could be beneath, it could be anything. I think it's a big gag. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. Slow trolling a gag. He's dogging. What do we got? What's the flavor today? Nice gag. All right, baby. Check it out, man. Oh, it's a surprise. Nice. Okay. There you go. All right, nice one. Okay. Grab them hooks out of there. I got pliers in my bag over there. All right. The other side. You know, you never know. You just slow troll, and you get a surprise like that. Yeah, too bad it's not grouper season again, huh? <laughs> Isn't that the way? Oh, yeah. Come out here <laughs> during grouper season, you catch all kingfish. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Look at that. Good start to the day. <laughs> Loving it. That's a beauty. Do it there again. You Back you go, buddy. You're lucky. You're lucky. Yep. Another Good couple job, months, baby. you'll be a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this week's resort feature is brought to you by the top selling Fish and Guy app. This week's resort takes us to Southeast Florida to a tropical sanctuary that offers contemporary comforts. It's none other than the Crown Plaza Hollywood Beach Hotel. This hotel is an upscale resort, both warm and stylish in appeal. Whether you want that restful night after a full day on the water or a place where you can hit the beach, bask in the sun, and explore surrounding Fort Lauderdale, the Crown Plaza with its spacious rooms is the perfect place to stay. With views of the intercoastal waterway, a large pool, spa, and tiki bar, you have some great outdoor relaxation areas to enjoy. Add their quaint dining area and great food, and you have everything you need for a fabulous stay in South Florida. Come on up and play. Say hello to Big Hank and Captain Bill. Come on. Keep them coming. All right, baby. That sucker came all the way up to the top of the water and ate that thread. I know. You could just... Kingfish. Yeah, me too. Here's a rod here. Bro. Yep. What do you got? OK, it reminds me of that line. Little gag. Oh, oh, the... oh, oh, I got to go. Oh. That's a kingfish. Oh, yeah. Stay hooked. Oh, come on. All right. No. Another gag. Nice. What do you got? They got a little king. Spaniard. Spaniard mackerel. Nice, right. man. Nice. Right. He'd still make a sandwich. Yeah. No Beauty. shorts here. Pretty much all, all of them right. have been keepers. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. All right, let me let you go. All, All right. right, man. There he goes, straight to the bottom. Get another one. Yeah. Coming up, crispy fry fish balls on the grill. Oh, man, just perfect. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Rockport Rattler Jig, the dinner bell for fish. Setting up on structure and anchoring is the key to your success to grouper fishing over a wreck or reef. Firstly, you'll want to check the drift of the tide with some pieces of bait. And dependent on that, you'll want to set your anchor above the structure, not on it. Remember, these grouper are tough fighters and are known to dart right into heavy cover and lock up. Set your drag tighter than normal and really pump that rod and reel at the same time to get your fish away from structure as quickly as possible. The other key with this technique, you'll get your catch away from the aggressive Goliath grouper that want your catch as much as you do. Oh, shit. Got one? Yep. That quick, oh, no. huh? There he is. There he is. Yeah, just like, there you go. Not for long, he says. <laughs> I'm going to have you do these. You grab, the, grab these clips and put them on the reel. Just play He's around. on it. The other one. Oh, oh boy. shoot, here we go. We got another one going. Billy. Now we got chaos. Oh my god. This guy's gone. Oh. Kingfish, you think? I don't know. Wow. Talk about we're trying to get set up. You know, we've got 
Oh man, come on. Finally go. got him fired up, I'd say. I know, though. something's going on now. I rigged up, because I tell you, some of these Goliaths out here are really big. What do I got? Come on. That's the most awesome part about being out here. Yeah. You never so, know. What do you got there? I think this is a big gag, man. Big one, I gotta keep him up off the bottom. Oh yeah. Nice big fish. gag, big gag. Bring him around here yep. so that everybody here, can move, see him. I'll move up. That's Check it. out this here. Mogan. Sorry to interrupt your Goliath, but. Okay, no problem. Wow. That's look, a good one right look, there, man. Talk about a good one. <laughs> look at this. Oh, way to go. Yeehaw. Rodney does it again. I know, right? <laughs> well, we were lucky he didn't take us right into the bottom. Oh. You were not very smart, buddy, but that is a big one. Look at that. For 40 that's foot a, of water, I don't care where you are, that is a big one. That's got to be 32 inches anyway. Yeah. Oh, at least. Right. Pop that hook out of there. Yep. Your rod's about to get I know, just, pummeled, I isn't it? It's hard to keep up out here. All right, what a beauty. I'm going to get him back Comes in here. Comes in flurries here, man. You know oh, it? There he goes. See ya. Wow. Crown Verity presents this week's Black River Surf and Turf Recipe on the Grill. Well, Steve, my favorite, fish in the flats, boy, these will be nice. Fishing the flats, fish balls, Henry. It's like Caribbean style. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into little uh, strips like this, and you're going to pulse it. I'll give you a few to start. It's a great fish to do this with. The flounder? Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. But even if you have uh, any mild fish, yep, just pull that up. And we go, just pulse that, and I'll yep. cut up some more, Henry, and we'll get her going. Yep. It's very mild. I've got a half pound, half pound of flounder here. Looks pretty good there, Steve. That looks really good. Now we're going to add in a couple of ingredients. We're going to put in some chopped onion and some garlic and some salt. And we're also going to do this surf and turf with the new Black River kebabs. And. Habanero, yeah. Scotch bonnet. There's one and a half. I know it seems like you shouldn't put that much in, but you need it. A little heat. And we're going to put some flour in. Pulse that up, Henry, please. Okay. Put the baking powder in. I think that's good. You can check the consistency. In there. I'm going to put this in now. This is an egg. Pulse that. And then we'll put it back in here and we'll make them up. That's perfect. Okay, That's we're just good. gonna we're just gonna put the, the green onions in. Add that nice flavor. Get them all in. And there we go. That's gonna add some. That's a secret too. That's got to have scallions. Perfect. Okay. That's and all now we we'll need. just put it in here, Henry. Wait, let me just dump the whole thing. Pull this out. One, one second. There we go. Now I'm gonna form some little balls. I'll get you to check the uh, temperature. Mm -hmm. I like uh, 375 for this. Yeah. Got the cast iron pot in here, just checking the temperature. Best way, maintaining heat. We're gonna cook eight balls at a time, Henry. Alrighty. So the easiest way that I've found is if you just put them into the Hank's Crispy Fry like this. Yep. Six. Seven, eight. There we go. And I'm just going to get some on my hands here and just kind of yeah. just roll it around like this into a little ball. Hey, you do that pretty good, like a pizza mat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you're ready to go? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Start, when you and we'll start, we'll start dropping them in. Go ahead. You can just drop them right from there and beauty. It's a nice temperature. Yeah, it was just at 382. Perfect. And we're gonna set the timer for five minutes. Perfect. Okay, Steve, they look really good. You got the new batch ready? I've got it ready here, Henry. And we'll throw the uh, shish kebabs on too. Okay. I'll come in with this. Oh yeah, they're mm. looking good. That's a nice golden brown. Yeah. Well, that's a crispy fry. And this is a great recipe. 
great appies. And then put on the Black River. Five minutes. Kebabs. That looks good. Got the little foil trick. Yeah, that's that little, all oiled up. See, that way, you know, the sticks don't burn and you got a chance to turn them a bit. Oh, yeah. Crispy fries working. You got to maintain, it's really important to maintain that oil heat. One more minute on that. We can get the aioli out. A nice spicy sauce here. Nice. Mm -hmm. No cheating. Can't have one. I'm going to count this. It's important to keep rolling them around so they don't stick. But Yeah, we're just about there, I think. Okay, these look pretty well ready. Let's get the kebabs off first. One, they look really good. Two, three, three four. four. Nice. I thought we put five on. <laughs> I should have. Okay, and let's get these off. Oh, see that color? Yeah, they're beautiful. That's a good temperature now. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't soak up the grease. Look, that's, see how they're dry instantly? Yep, that's what's great about the product. All right. Here, Henry, try that one. These ones are too hot. That's a good one. This one's been cooled down? Yeah. Oh, man. Just perfect. There you go. Surf and turf, Black River, and Hank's Crispy Fry. Can't get any better than that. You know, there's nothing like traveling, getting into the beautiful clear waters of Belize. If you've never been to that country, you better give it a try. And outside of that, hey, you can't go wrong with Florida. There's always some great fishing to be had. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. I'm Henry Waschek, and we'll see you next time on another episode of Fish in the Flats. Lots of great action next week as we use hydroglow lights to attract some oversized snook. And then we head to the beautiful Bahamas for bonefish on the flats at the world-renowned Tiamo Resort. Closed captioning has been provided to you by The Fin Shop. One-stop shopping for all your fishing needs. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde was brought to you in part by Live Target. Mud Hole, Oh Hero, and Tires Plus. Hey. Oh. Hey.